Hello children. Good morning. How are you? Hope you all are well and spending good time with your parents inside your home. To make your time more interesting, teacher has a new game for you. Yes, you heard it right. Today we are going to play a game. Yay! And you know what is the name of our game? The name of our game is Shapes Scotch. The learning objectives for this activity are Enhance gross motor skills Increase body strength and balance Helps in developing eye-hand coordination Revise shapes, circle and square Helps in developing body control to enhance balancing skills. The resources which are required for this activity are color tape and chalk. So children, the name of this game is Shapes Scotch. During this week, we have learned two important shapes. And what were they children? They were circle and square. And what is a circle? Can you spot circle in this picture? Huh? Yes, this red one. What all things we learn about circle? That circle is a shape which has no corner, which has no sides. We did tracing also. You remember? You remember? Okay. And what about square children? Square is a shape which has Four sides. How many sides? Four. One, two, three, and four. You can count, huh? It has four sides. So, using these two shapes, we are going to play this game. We are going to make our hopscotch using these two shapes. So, let's see how we can play this game. What we have to do is, we have to make this hopscotch on the floor as shown in this picture below using color tape or chalk. You have to make this shape scotch on the floor using either tape or you can use chalk. And you have to make this on floor. Then this game is similar to hopscotch like we, how we place hopscotch. Like that only we have to play this game. Instead of using all the squares, we have to use a circle. This is the only difference. So then what you have to do is, once you have made hopscotch on the floor, then what you have to do, you have to throw a small stone, twig, beanbag or other marker into the first square. As you can see in this picture now, like that only you have to place that object whatever you have taken on the first square. And then what you have to do is you have to hop on one foot into the first empty square. And then every subsequent empty square but sure to skip the one on which marker is on. Then what you have to do is on the pairs like 4, 5 and 7, 8 jump with both feet. With both feet. As you can see how this child is doing now. Like that only. When you are on pairs like 4, 5 and 7, 8 what you have to do is you have to use your both feet. And in others what you can do is you can what you have to do is you have to use one leg. And parents, your supervision is must in this game. I am sure that you all must be familiar with this game. So, you have to guide the child. And you have to stay with the child. You have to supervise. Then, what you have to do is at 10, you have to 10th mark. What you have to do is you have to hop with both feet and turn around and head back towards start and when you reach the mark square again pick up the marker and stay on one feet 
and complete the course. Once you have done this, you are, you have to give opportunity to the next player and all the family members can take part in this. And if you have finished without any mistakes, pass the marker to the next player. On your next turn, throw the marker to the next number. So children, did you like this game? You liked? Okay. So play this game with your parents and please share your photograph with us. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.